this episode, we leave Exmouth and we're going to come down. I'm actually going to go back out past Bolara Station, but it's closed. And we're going to head out to Mount Augustus, where we'll climb the mountain out there. So, Black Mingaloo. Yep, for the second time. Yep. This is our turn off here. And this is where we're heading to now. So, we're actually heading east. Um, so we come out of Exmouth and basically went north though to here. Yeah, we're heading out to Mount Augustus and look at this nice red dusty roads again. Dirt again. <laughs> oh uh, well, might stop and open up the scupper vent. Yeah, probably a good idea actually. Stop the dust hopefully coming in and because yeah. it so, is nice and red. <laughs> so where are we heading? It's about, did I say 22 k's out here? Yeah, we're going to stop tonight at a place called Emu Creek Station. Let me go out there and have a look. And then from there, we'll probably head out to Mount Augustus. We're going to go and go and do another walk. Yeah, a bit Slash walk climb. <laughs> All right, I'll open this up event and we'll uh, all keep going. Keep going. where we're going tonight just spoke to them and they are open so yeah some, some random yeah, some like, yeah. next to us and said oh the gates are closed yeah it's a cattle station of course the gates are closed mate but anyway we're heading here and have a look good, good morning morning another day in paradise yeah except for the wind yep but anyway well. Doesn't matter. Is what it is. It's warm. That's all that matters. Yeah. Oh, so we're at. Oh, yeah. We're at Emu Station. We yeah. just had a night here. Beautiful camped on the river, and we were actually the only people in the campground. But Emu Station's on the road out to Mount Augustus, so we're heading out there today. Yeah. So what have we got? I think she said about 350 k yeah. or so yep. dirt road out to Mount Augustus, but yeah, so we'll so head out that way today. Have a look and I'll just show you, I'll do a separate video of that taller block up there, which is quite unique. Um, there's plenty of room around here, and there's plenty of um, fire pits, and yeah, that like our outlook looking out at this, um, the river here. So yeah, all in all, it was um, it really was quite a nice night. Beautiful last spot. Night. Yeah. Thirty dollars, thirty dollars a night. I think it was to stay yeah. here, so. And we're the only ones here, so it was just so quiet. Yeah. So these are the amenity block, toilets and showers. It's just two en suites, I guess you would call them. cool I think it's a donkey for hot water but it's um stinking hot tonight so there'll be no need to light the hot water both the same there you go hmm So I've just come for a look up at the wool shed, which is on the emu station where we've been staying you know, on the property here. So we shall wander in and have a bit of a look around. Scales. 
This um, yeah, scales and a bale of wool there. There's a press there for a baler. Electric motor and all run now. I'm assuming out there was the old. Oh yeah, there's the old diesel used to run it. Hmm. The old diesel would have run up through there, off a pulley down there, up onto this one. This thing though, by back in the day when this was running, there would have been... Well, it says 12, had 12 shearers lined up. Yeah, right, eh? Would have just been pumping though. So, we've come from Emu Creek Station and we're heading out to Mount Augustus. And okay. these roads, we've passed one car today you just feel like you're the only ones on on the roads like it's so remote out here i'll show you like this is the um, t intersection we've come to so obviously we're going left to mount augustus and then later on a few days or whatever we'll come back around the other way to Gasco. but yeah it's just um well you look out the roads that way it's there's just nothing out here Hmm. Anyway, let's go and see what we can find. We're back in the red dust too. Oh yeah. Everything yeah. you touch now is red and Actually, dusty. Actually, I might check the van while we're here. What do you reckon? That's a good idea. Yeah. Just in case. Been a bit, not too corrugated the roads, but no, just still slightly bumpy. Always just check, yeah. yeah. Okay. bit of uh, it's a little bit of wildlife footage oh, there he goes he's up on his legs and moving away now back over there. so we pull up for the night at Emu Hill Lookout which was really quiet there wasn't many people around um, and check out this sunset over Mount Augustus it's just spectacular you know, once the sun goes down and there was no moon up, you couldn't see two metres in front of you. It was so dark. Then the next morning, the sun comes up again and it's just as beautiful. So we're just heading into the Mount Augustus Tourist Park. I think it might be pretty quiet out here. I've not seen very many people or cars in days. Yes. Oh, there's the roads. The roads are great. The yeah. roads have been absolutely fantastic. Alright, let's head in. So we've just got to the Mount Augustus Tourist Park. I'll show you around the park in a little while. We'll go and check in and see what the go is. Nice green grass. I know, it's beautiful green grass everywhere. So Mount Augustus Tourist Park is just a little bit unique in that the green grass is to sit on. So you basically park beside it, open your awning out over it. That just means they can run sprinklers pretty much all over the grass all the time and it's beautiful and green. And there's plenty of space for people. The green patch on the very right hand side of the screen there is more for tents it's unpowered there was a motorbike coming in on there and rolled his swag out while we were here 
So today we're going to do the summit walk, which is here where it says you are here, all the way to the summit. So it is a 12k walk, six hours return, it's about 6 30 in the morning, so we should be back by lunchtime. So at the caravan park, you actually ride on a whiteboard where you're going and what day it is and things like that so that if you're not back by five o'clock tonight they'll actually come and look for you so which is really cool it's um a bit of a safeguard for you so anyway let's get into it what's the time it is hang on <laughs> it's actually 6.50 all right 6.50 all right cool let's go so we've come 1.5 Ks yeah. at the moment. So that was the gentle gradient walk. Now we've got 1.5 Ks of steep, hard going climb before it settles back into 2.7 Ks of a gentle gradient again, which will be nice. But I was just gonna throw the drone up while we're here. Nice view, and there's no one out here today at all. And that is where we're heading towards. At least at the moment where we're about to walk to is in the shade, so that'll keep it a bit cooler. Ready to keep walking? Yep. say the climb's getting a little bit more strenuous isn't it? <laughs> Just a little. Yeah. Nice view, Beautiful view. Oh, Alright, keep walking. Going well. There's a nice little cave area, maybe for a rest on our way back down, Trace. Why not on the way up, Dale? <laughs> well, it might give us a bit of shade on the way down. That's all. Where are you, down there? <laughs> coming. What a view. The beautiful Pilbara. Yeah, Pilbara red. So we're walking just Feels like we're walking along a flat section now. We're actually on the side of a rock just here, but we'll head up again in a minute. Yeah, we've sort of come right along the top of the valley bit here. the markers but it just goes straight up the side here now <laughs> oh, and what goes up must come down yeah oh we know at the top now wait for you to come up love graceful <laughs> yeah gracefulish wow bad view at all. And that's an even better view. Yeah. 
Right. Yep, coming. I think we are almost there. So we're just having a look at this book and on the 24th of this month, Lucy did it at sunrise solo in an hour and 50 minutes. It's what, just taken us. Well done, Lucy. <laughs> taken us, what, two hours? Oh, about two and three quarter hours, I reckon. Yeah. That was stopping though, like we did some droning and... <laughs> yeah, true, yeah. <laughs> yep. We didn't walk fast either. No, but I wouldn't want to do it much quicker than that. No, I like to stop and look at the view. Yeah. So we're about two thirds of the way down now. This is probably the steepest section, I reckon. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a cool walk, but you look a bit tired now. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. It is hot now, yeah. It's getting hot. Yep. Oh, what is about up past 12 or something? 25, yeah. yeah. And it was meant to be. 34 degrees or so, 36 today. Oh, so we're just about <laughs> back at the car. The last two Ks has been hot. hot and a challenge. It's taken us quite a while because we've stopped a lot. We've drank a lot. Um, we're basically, we are down to our last bottle of water. We thought we had two spares. Um, so yeah, just, just a, as a note for anyone, if you're coming up here and you think that three litres is enough each, which is what we took, um, consider throwing an extra one in. So, I don't need it, really. Not really, I mean, we've, we've just opened our last bottle and the car's just here, so we will probably finish it when we get to the car. But, but had we have left later this morning and we didn't walk up in the shade... Oh, that might have been a different story, yes. Yeah. Hang on. Oh no, I thought it was falling over. And you can tell by um, Tracy's walking style now. She not, um, how do I put it? Not dehydrated, but she's definitely had enough of the sun. Yeah, it's hot. And. 4K is a big walk too. It is. Turn around, I want to have a look at your face because you're like a beetroot. It is hot though. Yeah, I'll have a look at mine as well. Yeah, yours isn't much better either. No. Yeah, but. So yeah, very um, very warm walk. And what would it be? It'd be nearly one o'clock now, wouldn't it? It is nearly one. Yes. Yeah, do you want to sit in the shade here? Yeah. We'll just finish off the rest of this water. Then we'll grab a cold lemonade out of the fridge and. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Sit, might not get back. I oh, know. <laughs> mm. Oh well. Good walk, but it was a good walk. Yeah. Another rewarding challenge ticked. Yes. Oh. Beautiful scenery and the Pilbara is amazing. Like I love the colour of the Pilbara. Oh, so do I. Yeah. Just that red, red dirt. Yeah. But yes. All right. I'm done for walking today. <laughs> Go back have a cold shower. Yeah. You right. Exactly. Yeah, sit around for the Arvo. Yeah. All right, let's have a drink. Thanks. So we're down here at Cattle Pool, just having a uh, bit of a look around. It's quite nice, and there is spots where you can get into the water where the reeds are broken or whatever. It'd be nice for a swim in on a hot day. 
So today we are going to go and just have a quick look at this Flintstone rock wall. So there's engravings, Aboriginal engravings underneath this rock. So we'll go and find it. So here, you are here. We're just going into this little bit here. Follow these. All right. Let's go. Let's go and have a look. Bit of a different walk, walking over all these rocks, isn't it? Just to come in here. Engravings, I believe, are underneath here. Put my hat out here. Hat and sunnies. Stay there. Don't move. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> so it's just sort of been notched with a little little rock or something. So we've seen plenty of paintings and stuff, but this is the first engravings we've seen. Hmm. Hmm. Nice, huh? Very nice. Monday, the Petroglyph Trail. Hmm. We're going to have a look. There's some more artwork side up here, so. That's like quartz. A layer, you know, like a line of quartz. You can see it down through there. Hmm. A couple of engravings just there and then over here in this little cave there's, there's heaps of them. It's pretty hot and dry out here. It is, yeah. Uh... Alright. Time to head back. It's getting a bit warm now this Arvo, isn't it? So Yeah. Head back, sit in the shade for a while, have a cool drink and Enjoy life. Yeah. Yeah, go. Yeah. So sorry, there was a bird above. Oh. <laughs> so that brings us to the end of another episode. Thank you for joining us out here at Mount Augustus National Park. Hope you've enjoyed our adventures. It's yeah, and having a look around here with us. Been it's cool, a, actually. Yeah, really enjoyed it. So and you know we got to climb the mountain and check out a few of the other walks. It's been really good. Yeah, and some good rock art or rock um, engravings. Yeah. Mm. So now we're going to head over to Cape Range National Park. Yeah, we'll go and we'll have a look no, at a few not. different. We're going to Kennedy Range. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. But we'll check out. A we've few already of been those to Cape walks. Range. If you would have seen that in our last episodes, <laughs> we are going to go to the Kennedy Ranges <laughs> National Park yeah. next. And um, yeah, we'll have a look over there and see what there is. And yeah, we're we'll going to stay down in the. There's a campground there at the bottom of one of the yeah. gorges. So. We're going to stay down in there and have a bit of a look around. Hopefully we'll get a swim because it's going to be like 40 degrees out here this week coming. So Hopefully. We'll see how we go. Yeah. See you next episode. See you later. Cheers, guys. Oh, nearly forgot. So if you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe for us. So uh, it really does help us. Um, and share it around to your friends. And, and if you've got any comments or feedback or anything you want to see or something you want us to do or show, whatever, just let us know. Pop them in the comments and we'll uh, get back to you. So, we've come from... Oops. <laughs> so, but then you're looking through dirty windows and it's just... Right, put it outside and I'll just put sound over it or something then. Can't you just do a voice over though?